Good afternoon, everybody. We are coming to you today from, where are we? North Palm Beach, Florida. And we're in Old Port Cove Marina. This is a quick video of what we've done to our boat recently, past couple months. But before that, you know, when doing this cruising lifestyle, you, you stay in some, some uh, marinas that are pretty rough. And then you have these. I'll slowly go down here. Now, the one down there, not quite at the end, one with the flag flying, that's uh, Tiger Woods Privacy. And over here, way down at this end down there is Greg Norman's. And then that giant one is some guy who owns Amway, I guess. But it's been quiet. It's really nice. Not many people here, just crew. But let's get going to see what we've done in the past couple months. There's Sid. To get our boat ready for, well, basically cruising. Here's Teddy. He's chilling. I'll start upstairs in the flybridge. This is a 2001 Sea Ray sedan bridge. We love this boat. It's really nice. Uh, we spent several months in Orange Beach, Alabama, and we had the bottom stripped and repainted. And while that was there, I did a video on this before, on these new helm seats. If you look online and try to find new helm seats, real helm seats for a yacht or whatever, they're thousands of dollars. Plus trying to get the base that fits. So I found these. They're out of Dallas. Tempress. They're really comfortable. I modified the seats just to make them fit a little bit, or the seat base, but they're nice. I think they look pretty sharp. But while we were up also in Orange Beach, we had the original 23 year old cushions redone, and we had to get on a waiting list. If you ever had to deal with uh, cushion people, oh man, it's a pain in the ass. But they did a really good job. Um, just had to wait for them, get on their list. That's what we did up here. So let me go start downstairs. There's the boss. And first, turn the light on down here. Guys, move. You gotta move, buddy. All right. Now, when we first bought this boat, it had a Westerbeek generator right here. And what kind of shape was it in, honey? Shit. It was a piece of shit. So, when we had some work done when we first initially bought this boat, we had them rip it out. And I'll show you what we uh, did for power. We put a, a battery bank, and I'll show you that later. But here's... The Cummins engines, which are awesome, they, they speak for themselves. But what I did was, um, one of the first mods we did also uh, was to get rid of the vacuum flush toilets. Uh, they were maintenance, a lot of maintenance, they stunk. I didn't like them, so we ripped it out. And what we have in place was we put in uh, composting toilets. They're called C head, the letter C H E A D. And we love them. We've been living with them for three years on here, and it's works great. But what I'm down here showing you this is the poo tank was right there. It was a 28-gallon tank, and for two or three years, I'm wondering, I wanted to get rid of it because you could still smell it. Um, what does it smell like? It's sewage. It's horrible. But I ripped all the plumbing out, and while we are in Orange Beach, I wanted to put this, uh, it's a fresh water tank and that is a 25 gallon water tank i'm like when i first got this I'm like how in the hell am i going to get that out of there because i had to move all this stuff here what i did was loosen these up take that elbow off and then undid the water muffler drained it first and then basically just loosened the clamps and just swung the whole thing out of the way and the, the fuel filters i dropped out of the way and i was able to get that uh the poo tank out of there and this is a 25 gallon fresh water tank so we increased our water by 20 percent 
I think. Um, the sea heads don't use any water, so um, it's great. We, we can go for about five days, just regular use of water. Um, one thing I did have to obviously plumb the, from here, this tank, over to the other side, which is right here. Had to go in right there. No big deal, but trying to find 15 millimeter blue water hose is impossible. I thought I found some at uh, West Marine. I hate West Marine. Uh, but when it showed up, I ordered it, and it's it, 15 millimeter is not the same as half inch. It's close, but it's not. So anyway, I made it work. It's uh, you know it's not the best, but it's really really tight getting those fittings on, onto the hose. But it works. Um, one advantage of getting rid of this generator is that I can pile, I can move the batteries out closer to where I need them. I can get to them better. Um, another mod we did down here was you notice a garden hose with a T fitting. Well, those go to the strainers, and we have a freshwater flush. So every time we run the engines for a little bit, whatever, uh, I can flush the water, the engine with fresh water. Um, nothing else really down here. Uh, let's see. Here. I think that's about it. It's just a oh no. The what? Oh well, yeah, the lights. I, you know, I have LEDs throughout this whole ho uh, house. It is our house, but throughout this boat. But the while we were in Orange Beach, I installed this pole shield. Now, what's funny is that my wife can hear barely uh, it working. Uh, I can't hear it unless I touch it. And a little beep goes right through my head and into my left ear. It's really strange. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. I know uh, there's a lot of skeptics out there, but um, there's four of these. One there. One back over here. And then two up front underneath the, uh, underneath the bed. But I'm proud of what we did down here. Increased our water capacity and, and got rid of the poo tank. So... Anyway, I'm going to go back up and we'll go inside. Oh, yeah, geez, I keep forgetting about all this stuff I've done. Down in here, we have three household filters. I've had these for a while there. I had them in a different kind of arrangement. But, uh, yeah, it's got, uh, so we can just run city water. It runs through here and it filters our water. It works pretty good. It tastes great. So... Let's go inside. Look out, buddy. Again, while we were in Orange Beach. You coming? No? All right. Um, we had the original couch that was here. Excuse me. It was a jackknife couch. And Michelle found these apartment-sized recliners. They turn into... They fold on into a bed. And, you know, they're from Wayfair. They'll work for a while. Who knows if they're going to, how long they're going to last. But we like them. They look a lot better than what they, than the original jackknife couch was, which is similar to this color right here. Uh, while I'm over on this side, excuse me, here's Teddy. No, um, we also replaced the carpet. This was from Snap In Carpet dot com and I made a template for this whole floor here it's kind of a weave I'll get down in there I like that uh, living in this boat full time we didn't really want carpet um, what's impressive is that I made this this uh, pattern out of uh, if you go to sail right they have a video of how to make a pattern so I did that and this look I mean it's amazing they they nailed it they, they had this cut out right there and it was perfect. It's really nice. We like it a lot. Easy to clean. So, um, getting back to instead of a generator, we have. Look out, Sid. All right, stay there. In here, 
I have eight Battleborn batteries. Four on this side and four over here. So we're running a 48 volt system. Uh, I think it's that amp hour is not that high. It's only 200 amp hours, but it's way efficient. Um, I installed a Ames Power PureSign 5,000 watt inverter with the Victron shunt. And let me see here. 52 volts. But anyway, um, it works really good. It's enough power here to actually run the air conditioner. Um, over here we have a 30 amp, 48 volt charger. I originally had a 10 amp and it took forever to charge up all these batteries. Um, it works really good. Uh, when we were coming down, before we got to uh, Chicago, I started thinking about the rivers and um, we'd be anchoring a lot. Now there's two things on this boat that are hog, power hogs. It is the refrigerator and the hot water heater. So I bought this 200 amp hour Amper time from China. It works great. It uh, it'll run the refrigerator for about what would you say four or five days? Four days. Yeah, at least four days. Just that is only the refrigerator, so um, it doesn't take power from these guys. And it works great. We like it. it works out fine. Which we did get in the refrigerator down here. Now they came with the original 23 year old refrigerator and it was working fine. It was a little small, same size, didn't have to modify it anything. But I got this one here out in Italy, had to order it because it's from Italy. But uh, yeah, it was much nicer. It actually has a light inside. It's called a Vitra Frigo. It's very nice. Um, all LED lights inside, That because uh, all, all the lights are run on 12 volt which were those four batteries in the back, the main starting engine uh, batteries. Let's see here. Um, it had, what kind of is a Black & Decker under cabinet coffee maker. We used it until, well, it ran out, until it broke. So we ripped that thing out, which wasn't easy. But also what was in here was one of these, uh, these sliding doors like this. It was here. Uh, we took that out also, and we got a ton of more space. So just an, just an idea for people who are looking at sea rays. Uh, any yeah, any boat. One, also another one of the, uh, what was it, the modification I did for the sink was there's a guy up in Canada, he has a YouTube channel called Boating with Boogaboo or something like that. Uh, this sink goes directly right outside. It doesn't go into a gray tank or anything. So that was one of the best uh, mods we did because if you, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you look at uh, more, most normal boats, it goes into a, a gray water tank, which is right down in there. And what we do if you, when it used to run into there, it'd overfill the, the gray water tank and then it would just spill out into the bilge. So we'd got stinky bilge water in there. Um, moving on back. Oh yeah, while we were also in in Orange Beach, we had the again 23 year old curtains removed and we put some blinds in. Oh yeah, and it's a little bit. You can peek out and look at people. Yeah, you can still peek out and look at people. Blinds.com though. Duck. So moving on, let me go back down here. Uh, apparently, people. That come on our boat are amazed that we have a pantry oh, shit. full of food because we're ready to get to uh, Bahamas. We're leaving tomorrow, so it's kind of weird. We didn't realize that people don't have pantries in boats. This is just uh, sitting room and also beer storage. Uh, like I say we're going to uh, Bahamas. I bought we bought 17 cases of beer and. Yeah, sorry, my brother came and visit, but uh, nobody can visit anymore because we got rid of the mattresses and everything else. This is just storage. Now let me look into where excuse me where this gray water tank was. 
you're like, what in the hell is this spider web mess? I got rid of the gray wire tank and made this manifold that runs, what is it, both showers, both bathroom sinks, and both air conditioners through this big mess. It, I thought it'd take about a half hour, it took all day, into this pump right here. It's a whale pump. Basically goes into that manifold. Uh, the manifold in there senses water and it turns on that pump. It works flawlessly. Highly recommend it. Uh, down here, you can barely see it, that is the hull shield working away. Now I also, that takes, uh, I believe it's about an hour, amp hour, per, one amp per hour out of the battery. So while we're at anchor, I installed, yep, another battery. These are all lithium ion batteries that uh, I kind of borrowed from where I used to work. So I wired that up so it's not to drain uh, our regular batteries. Oh, sorry. So, moving on. I know everybody's waiting for this. Here we go. We didn't do much in here except this is our bedroom. It's a mess. We put a new foam mattress. New foam mattress, and again, while we're in Orange Beach, we redid the headboard because it was falling apart. All right, here's where everybody wants to see. Now we want to see. Where, here it is. This is what looks like a normal toilet. It's not a little tiny little, you know, circle like sailboats have or whatever. You get your sit your ass on. It's a normal sized toilet, and. Just, here we go. Don't worry. There's no poo in it. That's it. Number two goes there. Number one goes there. And we've been living with these for three years now. And no maintenance besides no pump changing. Outs. No pump outs. No $75 pump outs. Uh, we couldn't be happier with them. Again, they're called C heads. Uh, Looking, researching this, I wanted to, uh, well, I looked at a lot of different stuff, but the main issue is right here, getting it through the door. And most of them that I looked at didn't do that, except for this guy. Anyway, I'm sure I'm missing something else. There's a ton of mods we did to this boat, but yeah, we're going to redo the carpet, probably with the same, I know. <laughs> The same uh, snapincarpet.com people. I mean, it had this stuff. It looks great on camera, but I think Helen Keller put it in because it's horrible, horrible cuts and just, just horrible. I mean, we cleaned it up, but yeah, on film it looks pretty good, but eh, I'm getting tired of it. Yep, came up quick. Oh, another mod I did. Um, I think I put, made a stupid video on that, but. Uh, the hatch is under here, so to get to do major engine work, you just roll up this carpet, get it out of the way, take the two chairs out, and the hatch over here, I made it so you can take the whole thing out. I uh, did that because, as everybody knows who owns the boat, getting to the, what is it, port side impeller water pump, it's way over here. You couldn't even reach it. And before that jackknife couch was in there, it was even worse. So, I think that's it. We're off to the Bahamas tomorrow. We made it so we can uh, anchor couple, like at least four or five days mm -hmm. on battery power alone and water. And uh, that's it. Anyway, hope everybody's fine. We'll talk to you later. Bye.